This is my fourth time trying to film this intro. I just, I don't know. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Brie, in case you're new here. If you are, don't forget to subscribe. Today's video is going to be me getting my shit together for 2021. And I say that because I have more than just like needing to organize or setting my goals. Like I have more, I have more to do. And I'm kind of trying to reflect on this past year and on the past several years, honestly, and prepare myself for a fresh start for 2021. I know a lot of us need that. So hopefully this video might be some inspiration to you. Maybe we can do this together. My number one goal on YouTube is just to help somebody feel a little bit less alone. And so if there's some stuff that you want to do to prepare for a fresh start for 2021, maybe this can give you some ideas. I don't know. I just wanted to put this out there because I need to get myself just mentally and physically and just everything prepared for 2021. So that's kind of the point of this video. And with that very long ramble rant, I am going to just go ahead and get on into it, get started and take you guys through step by step what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, first step is to clean up my space. Here is what my room looked like before. It was pretty cluttered and messy, not too bad. It's definitely been worse before, but a clean space is essential to me thriving and having a positive mindset. Obviously, I've gotta make my bed. I do try to make my bed every morning when I wake up, but sometimes it can just be hard to remember. It is honestly one of the best habits you can possibly have for yourself though. If you need an easy one to start for 2021, I would definitely try and make your bed first thing in the morning. It's so helpful to having a productive day. Now I'm just picking stuff up and tidying up my counters. I was wiping them down, putting stuff away, and this is what my dresser looked like. It was super messy. And so I just kind of tidied everything up, closed all the drawers. Now I am moving into my bathroom. I had stuff everywhere, so gotta clean all that up and put it away. I'm also gonna take down my Christmas decorations because while they're so cute, they are serving a purpose for something that has already passed. I'm currently trying to let go of things because there's a lot of stuff or emotions I hold on to just for the sake of holding on to them. I need to get better at letting it all go. I won't force myself to do anything devastating, only things that are freeing, but Christmas decorations definitely can go. Here's me forcing all of the decorations into one box. And now I'm just putting stuff back. I'm putting a new blanket out on my chair and my regular decorations back out. By the way, I'm listening to What We Said podcast. It's my absolute favorite and definitely recommend. And now it's time to get rid of some things. I'm a very sentimental person, so I can have a hard time letting go of a sweatshirt I got on a field trip in eighth grade or a sweater I wore on my second date with my boyfriend or a binder from a meaningful show I was in during high school, but all of it is just stuff. And that is what I am trying to teach myself. So if something is meaningful to me, but doesn't bring me joy anymore, I'm going to say thank you to it, but then give it up and give it away because I'd much rather have a clear space and organized drawers than a cluttered one. So here I am looking through all of my old t-shirts. I obviously didn't get rid of the One Direction one. I mean, come on. But I was able to clear out a lot of them that I can donate to Goodwill and hopefully they find a second home. And now I am going through some binders and papers that I had under my bed and under my desk. There was so much stuff. It was choir binders and scripts from high school. Here I am just saying thank you to a binder from a show that I loved, but I was holding onto the script for no reason. So I kept the front pages of every single one of the binders, but then I eventually just got rid of them. It was a lot of paper that I had just been holding on for several years and it was taking up a lot of space. I think that it's a really great practice to say thank you to something for serving its purpose to you and bringing you joy and then making sure that you have something or somewhere it written down what that memory was and what it meant to you, but then just being able to let that physical thing go so that you can clear your space and have a positive mindset.
And now for a quick break to absolutely jam to the new potential breakup song that Ali and AJ dropped. They absolutely saved the end of my 2020. Here I am just completely making a fool out of myself because I love this song so much and the explicit version just really, really did it for me. Okay, just wanted to come on here and update you guys real quick. I'm a tiny bit out of breath because I was just jamming so hard to the new version of Potential Breakup Song that Ali and AJ just dropped. Unmatched. Amazing vibes. <laughs> Love that. So that's why I'm out of breath. I just ate a little bit, grabbed a kombucha, and I'm almost done like cleaning everything from my room. And it feels really good in here. Like I just feel lighter because I got rid of just all the stuff that I was holding on to for absolutely no reason. So that feels really good. I will probably tackle more of my closet in the new year, but I've already done a bit, so I'm gonna leave that alone. But the rest of the stuff, it felt really, really, really good to kind of go through and get rid of and organize all of that because it's just been like sitting there. I don't know. I'm getting rid of just like a bunch of old t-shirts and a bunch of old binders and stuff. So the last thing I have to do is I have a bunch of papers just kind of willy-nilly in my desk and I want to organize those. Here, actually, let me show you. So I have all of this stuff and they're just random, but I have this thing, these file folders that I got at a garage sale and I just thought it would be cute to organize all my stuff in these instead and have it look a little bit more cohesive and just kind of like organize this a little bit and then that'll be the last thing to really do for my room. Just some things I wanted to hold on to so I'm just gonna organize all of that really quick. Honestly, as I'm getting older, I have no idea what I'm supposed to keep, like receipts and taxes and all of that stuff. So I did my best trying to figure out what I really needed and what I didn't need. Hopefully I did a good job. I just kind of labeled these folders with different categories. I think I had like receipts, I had medical things, I had all of my tax forms and employment stuff, and then I had stuff from college. And then I also had some memorabilia, just those papers from the binders and other things that kind of held memories so that I could hold on to them, but in an organized fashion. And now I need to complete some tasks like processing a couple of returns and paying my speeding ticket. Both are easy to do, but hard at the same time because completing them kind of feels like acceptance. I wish I didn't have to lose the money on my speeding ticket. And I also feel bad returning a gift that somebody thoughtfully gave to me, even though it was a double of something I already have. See, I like to hold on to things, but it's time to let that go. And now I am just getting ready. I felt in the mood to put on an outfit and put on some makeup just so I can feel more put together. It's always a good feeling. I'm trying out some new makeup items that I got for Christmas that I really like. And uh, the satisfying act of checking things off of my to-do list. Now I'm starting my laundry because I had a lot of it piling up for some reason. I only do my laundry once my laundry basket is completely overflowing. So it was time to do that. That's what I'm doing. Come here. Hi. Now it's my baby. So I just got a lot done and I got ready, which I wasn't even planning on doing, but then I decided that I kind of wanted to feel cuter. So I got ready and I just started my laundry. I paid a my <laughs> I paid my speeding ticket. If you haven't watched that vlog, there's a vlog where I literally get a speeding ticket. Super fun. So I paid that. That's gone. Really stinks that I have to lose all that money, but it's okay. You live and you learn. And I like had to cancel a subscription to something that I didn't realize I was subscribed to. And so that was also another $17 out of my bank account. Again, you live and you learn, it's okay. And yeah, I got, I had to process some returns and like print the labels and stuff, which I'm not great with that sort of thing. So it took me kind of a little bit, but what really took me the most amount of time was, um, was cleaning and purging my room. And let me tell you, I feel so refreshed. I am 
so happy that I decided to do this before the new year because a lot of the time I'm like, oh, well this year I want to get organized or I want to do this organization project. And I decided that I wanted to start the new year with everything being organized, ready for me to keep the organization momentum going, if that makes sense. And so I just feel really good about it. My room has not been this clean and like everything is not in this organized ever. So I'm really, really, really excited. And I feel great and just so, so refreshed. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of the harder part. I'm just gonna sit and I have some prompts that I saved from TikTok of reflections about 2020 and I'm about to go and do them. I just need a second to reflect on 2020 in order to move forward in 2021 because in order to like move forward and get my goals going for 2021, I can't have anything holding me back. And a lot of the time, actually so many times, I have moved into a new year and wanted so much for myself in this new year, but never looked back on the year behind me and been like, okay, well, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? Like what happened? Um, all of that sort of stuff. So I like feel like I just need to be doing this reflection and kind of let go of some past hurts and some past things going on and so I will put all of my journaling prompts either in the description or on the screen so that you can look at them as well so you can kind of reflect on the year you just had and then move forward into 2021 with like a fresh mindset and kind of knowing where you want to go and how you want to move and how you want to change really quick here is my outfit I've got my hair and a ponytail and I gotta fix the hair scarf, but I'm wearing a hair scarf that I think is from Francesca's. And then this sweater is also from Francesca's. And I'm wearing these jeans that I got at Goodwill. And they're a little loose on the waist, but they're so cute. And I love the like flare kind of at the bottom. So this is what I'm wearing. So I just wrote down some of the prompts that I got from this girl on TikTok and I want to share them with you because I think they are simple but they provide a really clear and good direction. So for reflecting, as far as reflecting goes, uh, I'm going to be writing down what were my big wins this year and then what were my small wins this year? What were my challenges and for each challenge write a lesson learned and then what do you need to leave behind and then the next section is manifesting i'll write down one small thing i'm manifesting one big thing i'm manifesting four ways that i will push myself in the upcoming year and at the end of the year one thing that i will have want to accomplish or one thing that i will want to be accomplished and the last one is describing the ideal version of myself if i could embody her what is she like and then last but not least um just some goals goal setting so one what are your health goals two what are your overall financial goals three what are your career goals and four what are your personal goals and intentions for 2021 and this all is pertaining to 2021 except for the reflecting so going back and looking over 2020 so i'm gonna get started on that Okay, so here I am the next morning getting up and I did go straight to my phone, just a habit I'm definitely trying to break. Time to say hi to Tiki. Good morning. Here are some of my New Year's resolutions, some things that I wanna build upon in the new year. 
and a couple of affirmations and expressions of gratitude. Now I am just washing my face and doing my skincare routine like I do every morning and I am doing my nails. I always like to have a fresh manicure if I'm having any sort of fresh start. For some reason, it just makes me feel so much better and it's just a little thing I can do for myself that just helps me feel more put together. So I am using the Kiss glue-on nails and let me tell you, these have changed my life. They look like a fresh set of acrylics, but they cost $8. You can get them at CVS, Target, Ulta, Walmart, anywhere and you just glue them on. My biggest tip for you guys, if you try these kiss nails that are literally so amazing and cute, is to buff your nails significantly with a buffer or with a file, preferably like a regular nail file, to kind of roughen them up because it'll be easier for the glue to adhere to your nail if it's not completely smooth. And this seriously makes the nails last for so much longer for me. Also, if you have a top coat and you can put that over the fake nail, that will also help it stay. And also I hold the nail on for about 10 seconds and the instructions I think say five. Also make sure you're putting the glue on both the nail and the fake nail. And here's what they look like right when I put them on and then I cut them and filed them to my desired length because those were just a little too long for me. And that's what they look like. They were so cute. Okay, hi guys, I'm in literally the biggest rush of my <laughs> Stay right there, stay right there. Okay guys, I just wanted to update you really quick. I'm in a big rush because I have to leave for the airport in 20 minutes. I don't even feel like I'm supposed to be going to the airport because usually I get ready and go to the airport at the ass crack of dawn, but for some reason we're taking like a 6 p.m. flight instead of a 6 a.m. flight. Anyways, spent a lot of time today trying to untangle a necklace, it didn't work. And um, I also did my nails, which they turned out really cute. And then I just got dressed and then I needed to help my mom do her nails, which took a long time. And then I realized I hadn't eaten anything, so I ate something, but then I realized that I still hadn't brought my package to UPS and I really have to do that because I printed the return label yesterday and like you can only use the labels for like a couple days or something. So I'm so stressed out and I really shouldn't be doing this right now because it's gonna take me well over 20 minutes. But I'm gonna do it anyways because whatever. If I have to drive myself to the airport, I will. And this giant truck is in my way and going really slow and I'm really stressed out. I don't know why. I didn't think there was gonna be a line, but of course there is a line, like a big one. Anyways, don't recommend going to the UPS store right before you need to leave for the, for the airport. Long story short, I left because I the line was too long. I was gonna have to like wait outside and it was taking forever, so uh, no, I can't return them. It's fine, I'm in store now. It's completely fine, it's fine, I'm fine. I don't make the best decisions sometimes. Ah! All right, you guys, that was kind of chaotic. I apologize, but I just wanted to end this vlog here and say thanks so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you did. And to everybody who has subscribed recently, hey, thank you so much for joining. I'm just so happy and just so excited to see what happens with 2021 on YouTube but and also in general. So comment down below what some of your goals are for 2021. I'm super interested to hear. And thank you so much for watching to this point. If you did, you're amazing. And and thank you for watching. I already said that. I just seriously actually really, really appreciate every single one of you. So I am about to hustle on downstairs and get in the car and head to the airport with my family so we can spend the new year with my family in Florida. But I won't be vlogging at all. I'm not taking my camera with me because I'm not trying to promote going on vacation. This is not a vacation. This is just spending time with family and we're definitely staying safe and super cautious. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.